Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a savings challenge video. Um, this is just a bonus video. Um, I have been saving my cash tips for the last probably, I want to say week, close to a week. Um, this is just some money that um, I was tipped. I, I actually was tipped a $10 bill the other day. Um, it was really super sweet that somebody did that. Um, so I'm excited to get some game on and uh, get some challenges on and see what we can do. Maybe we can even finish a challenge. We'll see. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Amanda. I'm 33 years old. I live in Oregon and I'm an all cash budgeter. Um, I do a loose Dave Ramsey version of cash stuffing. Um, I did follow the Dave Ramsey process about two and a half years ago. Um, I became 11k out of debt and I had my first um, taste of debt freedom and then I had to purchase a vehicle. Um, which I utilize to do gig jobs. So I am a full-time gig job worker. I also do some other little side jobs here and there. Um, I also resell um, a little bit on the side as well. Um, so that means that I sell on Facebook Marketplace and online. Um, I've also um, done a lot of low-income, low-wage jobs. Um, I have uh, done fast food for 14 years. Um, I have um, done retail, um, management, um, some desk jobs. I've worked at call centers. So I have a lot of experience being a low, com low income individual. If you like cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all in a low income, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. Um, and let's get on with the video. Whew. That always feels like a lot to say. <laughs> I think I have it down though, right? I have it down. We got it down. So I'm not going to pay off all my IOUs today because I only have so much to work with. But let's see what we've got. Flip open. Please. So I am working on doing my own version of um, a calendar weekly. Um budgeting and um, going over some different goals. I actually have a super cool new way to save. Um, I'm just waiting for an item to come in the mail and I'm super duper excited about getting that item. Um, so we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I think this is the most I've had to work with in quite some time. Getting some tips here and there help, um, but I don't get a lot of cash tips, um, only when I work certain gig apps. However, it hasn't been very good the last few days, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we are still on the home stretch for week three. Um, I also did um, get a small paycheck um, from a a source of income as well. Let's go ahead. It's not a big check. I'm not going to lie. It's just not a big check. All right. Let's actually go ahead and start with the games first because we don't know what's going on with the games, right? Like, I always kind of want to start with these littler challenges and I'm like, oh wait, I've got all these games to play. So we did pull one card here for the struggle bus challenge. Sorry, I just knocked the camera. So these are cards that I made myself. Um, this was inspired by a few different creators and channels who make card challenges, which are super fun. Um, I do want to buy um, the cards that um, Tanya from... Uh, Tanya's uh, Budgeting and Chaotic Life. Um, I'm looking to hopefully buy those for my birthday. So hopefully they'll still be on sale. <laughs> so I'm just going to like do a little quick shuffle of these. I am not a good card shuffle, guys. Like, And plus these are like small. And even though I have small hands and these are very small cards actually comparatively to like regular cards, um, I'm just not going to shuffle them. So let's go ahead and pull this one. Um, it says, 
If you are on the struggle bus today, add a dollar. If you are, and if you are not, add five dollars. So let's go ahead and put a dollar into this challenge. And let's pick another card. It says, sorry you drew this card. Now you must add five dollars into your envelope. Do we have a five in here already? Yes, we do. So I'm gonna swap this five out with this 10 and we'll put this into the challenge. I don't know what I'm gonna put this towards, but I'm gonna put it towards something that's hopefully useful um, for future events. So we already pulled those cards. I'm gonna go ahead and Put the rubber band over these ones so we know those are the ones we're picking from. This is our picked pile. And now we're going to go to the bento box. Bento box, we owe it $5. Which is okay. It's better than it's been in the past. So we're going to put our $5 in. We're just gonna leave this money out over here in case we need to make some change. All right, where's our dice? Let's go ahead and roll a single dice. Woo, five. That's not a good number to start with. We're gonna do five. Now we're gonna roll again and anything we roll will be times that. So let's hope for a lower number. Oh, six. Five times six, yikes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I don't have $30. So let's see how much is here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to leave the $9 out. We will put a 20 in and we will just write an IOU for 10 bucks. Which I know sounds ridiculous, but this is my way of playing, and this is my game. Sorry, I have to move the camera back. So, let's go ahead and write an IOU. IOU $10. But that's okay, because it's all going towards the emergency fund. Oh, did I say... 30, we need to write a 30 in there, 30. All right, so we have 20, 25, 30, 31, and 32. And if I have some money throughout the week that is a little extra, sometimes I will pay my IOUs then. Oh, wait, the IOU should show. All right. So now that that's showing, let's do, oh, we're not going to do a shut the box. Let's do this challenge. We'll add some into the piece of the pie. And this always goes to the jar challenge. If you don't know about my jar, this is going towards my future house buying. I do add dollars into this at random as well. I do have some change at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's all at the bottom. I don't have a lot of change, you guys. I don't really like change. I try to exchange it for ones if I can. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's add one, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll add six into this one. So let me know, you guys, what, do you, what are your plans? What are your spring break plans? I thought spring break was sooner, but it's not. So uh, I don't have my kids this week. I have them next week, and I'm excited. We got kids snacks. We've got um, some things that we're going to do. Um, I would like to bring them to the revamped swimming pool. Um, what else did I do this week that was different? This week so far, 
Um, I did go do a little plant rescue myself. I know that Lisa from Figuring Out Retirement likes to do that as well, um, where she goes and rescues some clearance plants. I only do the house plants because I don't really have a backyard. I do live in a townhome, so I have like a patio and a small grass area and a flower bed, um, but I haven't put flowers in the flower bed for quite some time now, and I just... I don't know. I feel like the neighbor next door throws garbage into my, um, my flower area because they have kids and they're just playing around and I kind of worry about them throwing things over to my dog, which I don't really like that idea too much. Um, but I do want to get some flowers, I think, but I'm waiting until it gets a little warmer because it's still kind of frigid out. Like I'm still wearing layers. If I'm still wearing layers, the plants aren't going to survive. So I did go pick up three clearance house plants. I'm going to try to revamp them. I'm keeping one and selling two. Um, I do resell plants quite a bit. Um, I do propagate plants as well. And I sell the um, little uh, four inch or three inch plants as well as some like starts that are not in pots so like spider plants I'll sell for like two dollars a start sometimes I'll have people buy like 10 of them at a time I also get savings challenge money that way um, but I do find that it's fun because it keeps me um, feeling happy because I have a bunch of you know beautiful house plants um, I do keep up with them quite a bit I fertilize and um, do the nutrients um, that I have. I've been running low on that kind of stuff, um, but it can get kind of expensive. Plants can be expensive if you're really super into it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see some of the new spring plants coming out. I do buy them new, but I try to buy only clearance because um, I am on a budget. And not only that, but um, if I'm going to sell a plant um, for a decent price or something I feel like I could afford to buy, I'm going to need to buy it on clearance so that way we can make a profit. So I try to double my profit on everything that I sell. So that means that if I bought something for 10 bucks, I want to make sure I'm selling it for 20 to make a profit and then I will put some money back into reselling. Um, I do get reselling money from selling items I already have. Um, so like if I have an item that I no longer use or, you know, like I said, plant starts from my own house plants, then that revamps money for reselling and you guys can do that too i mean it's it's actually pretty easy if you have facebook marketplace um that's my favorite place to sh to go ahead and load up some of my um plants i also really try to um make sure that i'm yeah, i'm not doing good at coloring in the lines i try to make sure that um, all my items work, so I try not to buy too many electronic items. However, I have sold electronics in the past. If you have kids' toys that your kids have grown out of, um, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, I used to do baby clothes, but baby clothes kind of quit selling for me. Clothes are really hard because people are particular about their clothes. I know I am as well. I buy from thrift stores, yard sales for myself. Um, my husband, he's tall. He's a very tall man. Um, I am only 4'9"-ish, maybe shorter, and he's 6'1", maybe a little taller than that. Um, but um, we buy from there as well. I do for my kids if it's in good condition. Um, but clothes I'm picky on, and clothes are hard to sell. They, they just have really always been hard to sell. Even on Poshmark and some of the other sites that I have resold on in the past. So we have $3 left. I'm going to put this $3 into 
The Hello Kill. Wow. Hello Kitty. There we go, Amanda. Speak English. I'm so tired. I've been literally working and working and working, and I know you guys hear that every single time, but I am literally just working. And, and I'm hoping to see some payoff in that. Some of it's just to hurry up and wait. I only get paid um, every two weeks from my temp job, and um, I get a daily slash weekly pay from my other gig apps. So it's just always a hurry up and wait game. All right, so we are out of cash. We have stuffed a little bit of everything. We have some IOUs to work on. Um, we have $10 and $20. We have $32 that I need to work on. I'm gonna work on um, making sure that those IOUs are paid before I do another um, savings challenge video just so that way um, we can be square when we get started in the next video. Um, if you are interested in starting savings challenges, you don't have to use these savings challenges just for challenges. You can use them for anything. If you have a bill and it's past due or you're behind on your electricity bill or um, you need to have a week's worth of gas to go somewhere, Maybe you need to take a trip. Um, maybe you have a small um, unprepared um, thing on your budget that you really don't have the money for, but you know it's coming up. Make a savings challenge for it. Print one out. Find them on Google. Um, I know I give out free um, challenges um, and I will leave links in my description box down below when I do so. I have been working on a lot of them, but I haven't had them for free for a minute because I honestly have just forgot to just add them to um, Google Drive. So I will see you in the next one, but that's all I have for you guys today. Bye!